Hi everyone and welcome to another video uh, with the Casio CTX3000 and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to connect it up to your computer and that's what I've done. I've taken the USB cable um, from the host uh, output here and then just plugged the other end directly into the computer. I'm using a piece of software uh, called Reason, uh, but it could be any door program like GarageBand or Cubase or Logic um, to give you a demonstration of, of what you're able to do with a keyboard. So in the first uh, example, I'm just showing you connecting it into the um, computer and using it as a, as a mother keyboard or a master keyboard to trigger sounds that are generated by the computer itself. So um, on Reason, uh, they use racks of instruments and devices, and I've set up a track here. With a kind of synth sound, string synth sound uh, here. And I've set up one track on Reason. And you're not hearing any sounds from the Casio, I'm just purely playing the keys on the keyboard and triggering the sounds on Reason. And I've set up another track below that with a kind of bass sound. And what I can do is I can um, record into Reason um, a little performance. So let's try that. I'm going to start the record. You'll hear a click coming from the computer, not from uh, the Casio. The Casio is not producing any tones at the moment. So this is purely using the Casio as a master keyboard um, to play in notes and control the sounds that are happening uh, from the computer. So I've recorded a little loop line of two bars here. So let's have a listen back to that. And I could edit that and do another recording, but let's put another layer um, below that. Let's put a little um, bass um, figure to go with that. So again, start the record. Again, just stop that and have a little listen. And so you can just carry on doing that, building up tracks, just like we were doing in another video, um, recording um, tracks in the song bank. But obviously you've got much more flexibility uh, on screen and choosing sounds and triggering those, just purely using the Casio as a, as a keyboard controller. The other thing you can do is set up um, so that the computer is going, I'm going to record into the computer and send data back using sounds of from the keyboard itself. So um, on Reason I've set up um, a track here that I've called Casio MIDI, MIDI 1. And you'll need to look um, for Casio USB MIDI um, ports, wherever they are situated in the program that you're using. Um, and I'm, I can send out a program number. So I've got this set to a uh, sort of electric piano. Um, the Casio um, only uses the sort of general MIDI uh, list of tones. Um, but that's, that's good enough for most sort of situations. And I've got this also set to MIDI channel one. So now I could record an, an, a layer of Casio alongside the uh, VST instruments uh, within reason. So 
So you can hear that layer from the Casio now. Let's just um, solo it on its own. Notice that I haven't had to do anything on the front panel of the Casio. Um, Reason is sending the patch data, patch information and the note data uh, back to the Casio. You don't need to touch anything here at all, go into song bank mode or anything like that. So um, we could carry on. We'll have another Casio layer. Let's put this sort of muted trumpet uh, alongside the tracks we've already got. sort of slowly building on the track we could add a third layer and on each of these um, tracks um, make sure that you change the MIDI channel to the one you want to uh, you've got 16 MIDI channels you can send out um, 16 separate MIDI channels and separate uh, program um, patches so let's add another one this sort of distorted guitar let's add that over the top I'll put a little bit of pitch bend in so you can see how that's kind of controlling uh, the pitch bend data as well and you might be able to see as well on reason the graphic uh, for this channel up here in this corner here the pitch bend wheel is actually moving up and down as well so let's give this a go As I said, you can uh, edit that. So in Reason, I can go in and change any of these notes. Wasn't particularly happy with one of those notes. Let's just have a listen. That one there. Let's move it up uh, to C sharp. Let's see if that sounds any better. So this note comes in slightly late, so let's bring this back a bit. Start point, I can change. Make sure it starts on the second beat. So obviously this is just sort of the beginnings of a song and you can go much further than this. You could add more VST instruments from within your door. You could add more um, MIDI layers from the Casio as well. Another thing you can do, of course, is mix this all together. Um, and I could um, record um, the, the audio from the Casio and create an audio track. So let's try that. So I've created an audio track uh, we can make it a stereo or a mono input, it doesn't really matter for this example. You can see the LEDs bouncing back and forth So, you, from, my, from my voice, so you can see a signal coming in. Let's just solo these tracks, these uh, Casio tracks on their own and play the, um, play the two bars. So that's what we're going to record into this um, audio track, is that uh, audio information. I'm just going to unloop so we just get the two bars and it doesn't kind of re-record over itself. So here we go, we can just press record. Now press stop. You can obviously change the signal level. It looks a little bit low on here, but you, you can um, normalize that um, information like that. And I better just bring the volume down before we play it back. So now we'll listen just to the recording that we've made of the Casio tracks. This is just the audio
in here also we should have maybe uh, uh, taken out the click as well And now these MIDI, MIDI tracks are kind of redundant. We've created our audio track and we can manipulate that and we can um, add effects and that sort of thing. And then bounce this all down into a single recording, um, create maybe a backing track that we could then put on a, a device, on a mobile phone, and then play it back into the Casio and we've got our little uh, backing track ready for our performance. So anyway, I hope that's um, it's, it's a sort of short, brief introduction, but it gets you thinking about how you can use even a keyboard such as this, which is relatively cheap and cheerful, but it's got a lot of potential as well. So thanks for watching.